Hey everyone, welcome back to Paul's Q. As you can see, I got a few things lined up here. I got the pit boss fired up, smoke's coming out of it. Doing good there. Here's what you're gonna need today. You need some bacon, a couple packages, maybe two, three. You're gonna need some potatoes. These are russet potatoes. I've already gone ahead and peeled them and sliced them. They're ready to go. And some grated cheese. Any cheese you'd like to use. I'm using marble cheddar over here. Last but not least, you're gonna need yourself some good barbecue rub. Whichever one you prefer, I'm using Barbecue Pit Boys, pork privilege on this one. That's what I choose, pork, potato, should be good. This is going to fire up, I'm going to get this ready, show you guys how. First you're going to want to take your bacon, this must be the crappiest pack of bacon I've got in a while, and we're just going to line it up like this, drape it over. Uh, mangled apart this bacon. Ah, I can't see what's inside the package. It looks nice when it's sealed up. Once you open it up, it's not that nice. It'll turn out good though. So basically you just want to ring the whole thing around, just like I'm doing right now. You're going to want to continue around all the sides. I'm going to get that done, and then I'll show you the next step. Bacon's done. As you can see, wrapped all the way around. Try not to build it up too much in one spot in the center. Try and space it around so it's nice and somewhat even. Next thing we're gonna do, take some of these potatoes here, and line the inside with potato. If you guys are wondering, I actually got this recipe from Cooking Green Bastard Style. I saw him do it two and a half years ago or so. I've always said I wanted to recreate it. I never have gotten around to it. Today is the day. I'm gonna get it done. So I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can check out Cooking Green Bastard Style. He might not be for everybody. So keep that in mind when you go to his channel if you do. If you like him, hey, you guys are free to subscribe and follow him. If he's not your cup of tea, not a big deal. He's not going to worry about it or lose sleep over it, so that's it. So line the potatoes in. Any which way, it doesn't have to be fancy, fancy, fancy. Little ones, some big ones, some little slices. Just try and cover everything up. That's it. Next. Oop. We can fit another one over here. Look at that. There we go. Next, we're going to hit it with some barbecue rub. Like I said, use your favorite one. Enough. Put a layer of cheese. That's it. Just like that. I'm gonna continue the process now. Put more potato, more rub, more cheese, and then I'll show you at the end what we're gonna do with this to assemble it. We've hit our final step now. We've got it built up with our cheese, our potatoes, our barbecue rub on it. Now we're just gonna take our bacon, let's start at the end here, and just fold it over like this. It's looking good already. Look at that. I'm not going to bore you guys with this process. I'm going to speed this up. You guys can watch it go by quick. There you have it, just like that. Next, take off one of these gloves, and just dust it on the top with some more rub. 
very easy to do. I believe this was called a cheesy potato bacon bomb. Well, if you know somebody who loves barbecue in their life, this could be a birthday cake for somebody. Throw that glove out. I'm gonna grab a piece of foil. I'm gonna lightly cover this. We're not gonna cover it too heavily. Just lightly, like that. Our pit boss is running, so we're gonna get it on there. Let me reposition you guys so you can see this. So our pit boss is up to 10. As you've seen, we started it up just as we were getting ready to prep this. Gave us time to warm up the grill. We've got it set at 350 degrees. You could do this in your oven as well. Just make sure you have a nice drip pan underneath to catch all the grease that's gonna fall because there's gonna be a lot of grease come out of this, no doubt. But it should take about two, two and a half hours, 350 degrees. So here we go. We're gonna throw this right in the center of the pit boss like that. I'm gonna let this go probably about an hour and a half. I'll check on it then. Maybe pull off the foil. Let that bacon start doing its thing on the top as well. Don't wrap tightly, wrap somewhat loose. You just wanna have a cover on it, just like so. That's it. Let's let this roll. See you in an hour and a half. We've just hit that one and a half hour mark. Let's take a look at what we got going on. uncovered now for the remainder of this cook. Let that bacon on top start getting a nice crispy layer to it. We'll pick back up when this is done. Just a quick update for you guys. I just went ahead and drained the grease out. You can see? There's some grease still in there, not a lot. I drained most of it out into the drain bucket. So now, we're going to let this finish off. We're right at that two and a half hour mark right now. Let's take a look. Here's what we're looking like. And this is done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. But just to let you guys know, I have periodically been draining the grease out of it. That's why there's no grease right now, which is what you're gonna want it to do as well. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna pull it off, let it rest for a little bit, and then we'll slice it open and see what we got. 15 minutes of resting, we're done. Pit boss is shut down, off to the side. What do you say we go ahead and slice into this now? Let's see what we got. Just gonna go right down there with it. Look at that. Oh wow, look at that. Potato and cheese goodness. Let's get into there right there. This bacon's nice and crispy. in there for a nice view. Look at that. You say we slice a piece off and try it. Slice it right through. There we go. Get that piece up. Mm. That's got an awesome flavor with that rub on it. The cheese, the potatoes. The cheese is melted nicely. The potatoes are cooked to perfection all with the bacon flavor. This one's turned out excellent. You guys go ahead and give this recipe a try. You won't regret it. If you guys are new here, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share this with your friends. See you guys all in the next one. Bye.